Well, hey guys. So we've got the 990 gear drive on the bench, and one thing I was having issues with, with this was getting spark out of it. Then I finally got some spark, and enough spark for this thing to actually run. So I've already had the saw running, but I figured since I made a promise to the guys on the home light forum that I would post a video of getting it running, then I'm gonna have to keep that promise. So we're gonna we're gonna whoops put this thing back together, kind of sorta jerry rig. I want to put my muffler back in. This thing's loud and. Uh, Direct it this way. I'll get this old girl started, hopefully. She did run <clears throat> yesterday. And uh, sorry about my sniffling and everything. I've got allergies going nuts right now. So, well, if I could find all my parts and pieces, I'd be doing good. But anyhow, so what I ended up having to do, I had tried cleaning the points. And that did made no difference. I disconnected the stop switch, checked all the wires, made no difference. What I found, and this has only worked, this is only the second time, um, but with condensers, um, if you can't get it, if you can't get spark out of it with an old condenser, um, before ordering a new one, try charging it with an electric, uh, with a volt, voltage regulator, uh, voltage, a voltmeter. Um, you'll turn it on to your ohm's resistance, you'll put the negative lead on the body of the condenser and the positive lead on the wire, or vice versa, doesn't matter, and you'll charge it up. Charge it up to about 0.700 ohms or whatever, and then turn it to voltage and check your voltage. If it, if it slowly drops, um, and then you let off the voltage and then go back and it's still slowly dropping, then you've got a condenser that'll work. And what I've found is sometimes you got to just sit there and charge them a few times and then you'll hook them back up and all of a sudden you'll have spark. So that was what happened with this is I hooked it up and I had spark. So I couldn't say no to that. I, I was like, I was pretty darn happy with that. Alright, so we're just going to use this. I'm not even going to put the... What is going on? Maybe this is why. There we go. you got to grab the right bolts for the situation. Um, the compression is super, super low. Like, super low on this. Um, there's no major scoring, but I am a little worried that there might be some plating peeled from the cylinder wall. Um, I mean, it's, it's really not that bad, but it's just, it's not that great. So, let's see if this old girl will start today. That's what I'm talking about. And that's that's just on prime fuel. She does run. Um, obviously it would need a tune-up, but I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to finish restoring the Wiz, and I'm going to work on getting parts for this. Um, we're going to do, again, just like the Wiz, full repaint, restore, crank seals, piston rings. Um, I might try and find a piston for it because I'm not too, if, the, if I can feel scoring with my fingers or catch anything with my nails, then I'm going to get a new piston for it. But Hopefully we'll get lucky, and maybe what I can even do is just take kind of sandpaper, and like emery cloth, and just lightly go along the skirt of the piston, see if I can kind of just smooth out that scoring a little bit, and then get away with a ball hone and a set of piston rings. Because um, so far I've been able to do that with most of them. Uh, if I couldn't get a new piston for some, what I did is I just uh, emery cloth the cylinder wall, ball honed it, and then did a light emery cloth on the piston, and they've all ran fine. <laughs> Tolerances were terrible on these old saws as it was anyway. So, anyhow, she runs, and you've been able to hear it run, so that means it runs. Also, real quick, 
I finally got a tool I've been needing for a long time. A sonic cleaner. And this is a Harbor Freight special, but I've got one. These work extremely well for carburetors, um, and just mainly carburetor parts or any fuel system parts. Um, you can use water and super clean. That's just about the best formula, is a little bit of super clean with water. You can't leave anything in there too long or you'll, you'll find that it's not even there anymore. Because super clean will eat and eat aluminum to the point where it's just gone. Um, or you can get degreaser from like the Harbor Freight, which is where I got this. Simple Green, um, or what a solution that I'm going to use, it's from Dollar General, it's called Awesome. It's awesome, that's all I know. Um, I use that at the shop that I work at, and that stuff works awesome. It holds up to its name, truly. But you do like a 50-50 mix, I believe, and it it makes carburetors look brain spanking new if you leave them in long enough. So, well, this is the new addition to the shop, just to make life a little bit easier. So I just have yet to run to the store and go get some of that stuff. So, well, there you guys go. The old 990 does run, for the fun of it, let's just run her one last time. Oop. That's just amazing, you gotta love it. Didn't even have to go through the carp. Um, the the seller that sold me this saw, I believe, flushed the fuel tank out for me because it was really nice and clean in there, so I was definitely happy about that. But when they sit for so long, those gaskets and diaphragms just don't, are not as pliable. And I think that's what the problem is, is the diaphragm's hard, so it's not moving up and down like it should. So, well, that completes another episode of TJ's Chainsaw Restoration. Hope you guys enjoyed, and... Catch you on the next one. Of course, eh, I was a little bit high there, but you guys will be fine, right? So, after the Wiz is rebuilt and restored, this one will be next. Um, she's going to do a repaint, rebuild, restore, and then a 60 inch roller nose or hard nose bar. I missed out on a couple of them, and I'm still kicking myself really hard for not getting those while I could have. But I'm sure another one's going to pop up, and this is going to be a sweet addition to TJ's Chainsaw Collection. Alright guys, I hope you're having a good weekend. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting. And by the way, today is March 8th. So, it's going to be a number of weeks before I get this up because I'm videos behind as normal. So, alright guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.